Good evening, people. Hello. Good evening, teacher and guys. Good evening. Okay, we're about to start. Just <laughs> okay. Give me a second. I need to prepare something here. How have you been, people? I'm doing well. Am you? Excellent. Very well, teacher. Okay. I am happy because today is Friday in the body now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. So you don't work or you don't study, you do nothing on Saturday, that's great. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, at the moment I'm not working on Saturday, but. I may not I'm... on Saturday. You what? I'm in a hurry on Saturday. Ah. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to start with the attendant. Just let me see. Let me pull up the attendant slip. Friday. I got a message here. Ah. Uh, Okay, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran. Present. Okay. Alejandra Maria Lemus. Alejandra Maria Lemus. No. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Here, teacher. Okay. Ángel Isaac Cibrián. Missing in action. Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. No. Carlos Ernesto Rogel Grijalva. No. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado Maldonado. Present. Ok, welcome. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Juan Carlos López Escobar. No. Catherine Joana Calzadilla. No. Present. Ah, ok. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. No. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. María Delmi Hernández de Montoya. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present teacher. Welcome. Noé de Jesús Ambrosio Eguizábal. No. 
Sandra Lisette Elizondo Merino. Present teacher. Okay. Cindy Carolina Cruz de López. No. Úrsula Yamilet Cornejo Martínez. Present teacher. Jensi no. Carolina Magaño Martínez. Jensi. Ah, okay. ah. Alejandra Elizabeth, yes. Alejandra María, oh, María. Okay. Well, yesterday we finished with this conversation. Let me read it one more time. Teacher, sorry. I, I am late. Sorry. I am Elba Esmeralda. Hello, Elba. Uh, is this for the attendant, attendant? Okay, let me see. Elba, 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 okay. Good evening. Good evening. Me, me too, I am here. Le who, are, I am. who are you? Carlos Rogel. Okay, because I'm <laughs> I'm watching the attendance list right now. Oh. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? No. Chat in the chat. Who is in the chat? I don't take the attention in the chat. You have to respond, people. The rule is stay present. That is what Insta for one to hear you. <laughs> well, let's. Oh, uh, just give me a second, people. was saying goodbye and good night to my granddaughter. Okay. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. I have highlighted the some questions and sentences that are in what we call present perfect. Mm. I hope you remember that because you have already studied that. But let's we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. Look at the questions in present perfect. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been to a jazz club jet? Have you ridden in a street car? And some affirmative sentences. 
I've already been to one. I've already done that too. So look at that here. The present perfect. Remember that we use or we form the present perfect with have, the verb have, lost, the past participle form of the verb. Okay? Have or has. Remember that we use have with I, you, we, they. And has with he, she, it. Have you been to a jazz club? Have in the past participle of be, been. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. What is I've? Well, I've is the contraction for I have. And the negative form, no, I haven't been to one. Haven't is the contraction for have not. Okay? And the past participle of be. I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Has, because the subject is she. Has she ridden? Ridden, the past participle of ride. Have you, has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. What is she's? She's is the contraction for she has. Okay? Don't miss a take or don't miss place. She's, she has, or she's, she is. Okay? The contraction is equal, but the meaning is different. How do I know the difference? By the context of the sentence. Okay, so you have to read the sentence and you will understand if that is, that she is, is she is or she had. Okay. For example, here, has he called home lately? Has, because the subject is he. And called is the past participle of Call. Yes, he is called twice. Negative. No, he hasn't called in month. Hasn't the the contraction for has not. Have they eaten dinner yet? Have plus the past participle eaten. Yes, they've already eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. I also want to call your attention to this uh, words. Uh, let me change the color. Jet. See and already. Okay. So we use jet for questions and negative sentence. And already usually for affirmative sentence. Okay. Any questions so far?
No. Okay. So let's move. Okay, we're going to do this later. Let's do this one first. Complete these sentences, please. Using the present perfect. Okay? Remember that you are going to use have and the past participle form of the verb. The verbs are here in parentheses. Okay, so you have to use the past participle form of these verbs. I, you have them here. See? You have the past participle here. So, Work on that, please. Then we are going to check your work in a moment.
Did you finish, people? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, have you done much exercise this, this week? Yes. I have already been, 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 yeah. been to a been. class for time. Okay, good. I did it for you and I, well, I helped you with this one. How Number you two. Play? Uh -huh. Do you play? Have you played? Played any sports this month? No, I haven't. Spent. I haven't. The time. I haven't. Had the time. Yes. I haven't had the time. How many movies? How, How you been? Had seen. Have you seen? Have you been? Been? This month? Actually, I. I haven't have seen. seen. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen any yet. Number four. Have you? I have you have been you, to any have you party? Have you? Been to any interest? There is, there is a. Uh, I'm sorry, there is a, a speaker there. You can turn off your microphone for a while because, uh, okay, thank you. Number four, no, I haven't gone. <laughs> haven't gone to any parties for a quite, for quite a while. Five. How you cold? Yeah, there is some TV very loud. Already met Mel. Already. Hey. Hey, hey, people, ask your family to lower the volume of your TV or move to another room, please. That TV is too loud. I'm sorry, but that TV is too loud right now. Thank you. Okay, this one, how many times how you time? went out? Have you went? Have you gone? Have you gone? Have you gone out this week? How this week? I have eaten. Have eaten. Okay. Very good. Have you done much exercise? Okay, let me read them. Have you done much exercise this week? Yes, I have already been to aerobics class four times. If your dog is barking, turn off your microphone. Okay. <laughs> have you played any sports this month? No, oh, I haven't had the time. How many movies have you been to this month? Actually, I haven't seen any yet. 
Have you been to any interesting parties recently? No, I haven't gone to any parties for quite a while. Have you called any friends today? Yes, I have already made three calls. How many times have you gone out to eat this week? I have eaten at fast food restaurants a couple of times. Okay, let's do something. I uh, will send this to... That dog is still barking. Uh, I will send this to WhatsApp and I will send you to work in, in pairs or in small groups to practice. So I want you to practice with this short conversation, okay? Let me send the conversations to WhatsApp. Okay. There you go. Now I will send you to work in small groups. Practice with those conversations, please. I. I'm sending you to work in pairs, so please don't leave your classmates alone. Join the breakout rooms. Okay, go to the breakout rooms, practice the conversations. See you in a moment.
Okay, welcome back. Now, no, 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 no. We are going to do this. Look at this activity. It says, how many times have you done these things in the past week? or this week, or the past week? Write your answers in your notebook. Write your answers. Look, I gave you a model of the question. The question should be, how many times have you cleaned the house this week? We are going to practice question and answer. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? For the first activity. Yeah. And the answer, I have cleaned the house two times this week. Or I haven't cleaned the house this week. Okay, maybe you don't clean the house. Somebody else cleans your house. Okay. And then you can continue with the rest. First, I want you to respond the question for you. Or, or, or write how many times have you done these activities? How many times? I have made my bed four times, five times this week. I have cooked dinner, or I haven't cooked dinner. So in my case, I have I have cooked dinner once this week for me. Uh, I haven't done the laundry this week, not yet. I haven't done the laundry this week. I have washed the dishes three times maybe this week. Uh, I haven't gone grocery shopping this week, so that's me. What about you? Write about you, okay? And then we are going to practice question and answer.
Ok. Let's practice. Let's see. Alejandra. Are you there? Alejandra. Okay, Andrea. Yes, teacher. Okay. Andrea, tell me, how many times have you made your bed this week? I make my bed... Five, five times this week. Okay. Uh, Maria Delmi. Yeah. How many times have you done the laundry this week? I I have I have uh, uh, done the laundry two times a week. Okay. Uh, Carlos Rogel. Hello. Edgardo? Edgardo? Yes. Okay, Edgardo, how many times have you uh, gone grocery shopping? Um, I, have, uh, I go grocery shopping uh, three times this week. Okay, I have gone grocery shopping. Can you repeat that? Yes, I gone three times um, grocery shopping. I have gone Yeah, you have to grocery. I have gone grocery shopping. I have gone or I've gone. Okay. Uh, Elba, are you there, Elba? Uh, um, uh, Stella? Catherine? Hi. Okay, Catherine, how many times have you washed the dishes this week? I, wa I wash the dishes every day because my mom hit me. She's <laughs> not <laughs> Okay. I've. You, you say I've? I've. Okay. Uh-huh. Good. Uh, Kenya. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kenya, how many times have you done the laundry this week? I have... Um, do the laundry. No. Don, don the laundry. Um, Remember that you, we use the past participle form of the verb. This week. <laughs> I have done the laundry. I have done the laundry this week. How many times? Wow. Every, day. Every, day. Every day. Thank you, Mary. Okay, Marvin. Yes, tell me, teacher. How many times have you cleaned the house this week? 
I haven't cleaned the house this week because always I clean, but on Saturday or Sunday because I rest, but in the rest of the day, my mom cleans the house. Okay. Sandra. Sandra. Hi. How many times have you cooked dinner this week? I have cooked dinner on weekends. Okay. And Cindy? Cindy? Not there. Okay. Very good, people. So remember, we use the past participle form of the verb. In this case, cleaned, made, cooked, done, washed, gone. Don't forget that. I have washed the thing. Okay, let's continue. The dishes. If this moves. The dishes. I have washed the dishes. Oh my, why is this so slow today? Oh, finally. Okay, I just want to show you quickly the difference between present perfect and present and simple path. The difference between present perfect and simple path. The difference basically is this. We use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the path. Indefinite time. We don't specify the time. And the simple past for a specific event in the past. Okay? That is the main difference between present perfect and simple past. Okay? For example, have you ever eaten Morocco food? Moroccan food? Well, yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. Oh, oh in Paris. <laughs> I ate it once okay. in Paris. We? Oui. Simple past. Because I specify the event once in Paris and give you the place. Okay. When I did it. That is a specific time. When I went to Paris. Specific time. Simple past. Okay. No, I haven't. I have never eaten it. No specific time, okay? Indefinite time. Or imagine that I respond and I say, when you ask me, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? And I just say, yes. I have It in it. It in it. Uh, three times. That's it. I don't. I don't specify when, or where. I have it in it three times. Yeah. Okay. Indefinite time. Now, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. Okay, it was a specific event. It happened several years ago, but I'm talking about a specific time when I did it. Okay? Oh, no, I haven't. I have never had it. So the specific event, simple past. Indefinite time, present perfect. Uh, 
Okay. And also, uh, we usually um, use for simple past and also for present perfect for and since. Okay, for and since. What is the difference? So when are we going to use for and when are we going to use since? For example, how long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. Okay, I'm talking about a period of time, right? A period of time, two years. So we use for to, to, to describe a period of time. I lived there for two years. How long have you lived in Miami? I lived here for six months, period of time. What about since? I've lived in, I lived here since last year. Okay, this is not a period of time, but I am telling you when I started living in Miami, when the action began since yeah. last year. Okay, I am not talking about a period of time. I'm talking about when I started living in Miami. It was last year. So that is the difference between for and since. We use for period of times, and since to talk about the time when the action began. All right. All right. Okay. We use ex uh, these expressions with four expressions like this. For two weeks, for a few months, for several years, for a long time. And we use expressions like this with since. Since quarter to seven or since 6.45, since last weekend, since 1997, since elementary school. So we use expressions to define the time the action began. Okay? If you, if you want to work on this quickly, just this exercise. We say, Pam was in Central America for or since four. a month last year? Four. Four. Four, four. four. okay. Four. This is four. Right. Four. Two, I've been a college student for since. or since? Since. 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 Almost since. three years. Mm, four. 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 A period of time. Four. Hiroshi has been at work. I haven't gone to a party for, 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 for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for, for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Okay. Very good.
Pam was in Central America for a month for a last month. year. I've been a college student for almost four years. Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Okay. Very good, people. Well, and basically with that, we, we finish this module. Oh, these are some other exercise, but you can do that by yourself. Okay. Okay, people. Thank you for attending to this class, to this module. We finish with this tonight. And I hope you continue with the next level or the next module um, when they tell you. <laughs> I don't know when, but I hope you continue. Okay? It's been a pleasure to be with you. Enjoy your weekend and keep studying, okay? Until you finish this course. Okay. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, and teacher. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye -bye. You're welcome, you. people. Thank you, teacher. Good You're night. welcome. Good night. My pleasure. Thank you for everything, teacher. My pleasure. Bye bye.